your job's just to close down that outlet. Bit net, centre field, a little ball on boot, and another miss. Oh, no, it's a goal. It's there. Gee, the goal umpire moved a long way. Great movement through the stoppage here for Cedarfield. He just pushed his direct opponent in there, got on the outside, and a little flow to the just missed the, oh. the goal post, but movement at a forward stoppage. You don't get many goals from forward 50 stoppages, so they're worth their weight in goal. I think John Murphy, Mark Murphy's dad, did it for uh, the first 95 games. But it's rare. Here he is again on call. He was tagged on the leg. He's kicked the goal with the advantage rule anyway. He is a goer. Well, just relentless he is. He, his work rate, he keeps showing up to the contest and the stoppage, but he's got the smarts as well. He gets in the right position. But what's the scary thing about him is you normally see a season or two to add, add a layer to your game. He does it within the season. Yeah. So when he first came in, he was outside on the wing and he's filtered in on ball and winning contested ball. Now he's adding goals and that attacking uh, streak to his game where he's kicking inside forward 50 and hitting the scoreboard. Defensive mark. Seeing the last couple of entries, they've swapped that matchup, Carton. Liam Jones has now got flying Ryan because he's playing a lot deeper. Stocker involved, handball to trouble, Saad, able to spin off a fairly hefty bump, gets it wide to Fisher, good user of the footy Fisher, there he comes and De Koning there. And Shepard not so, horrible to see that, really horrible, Shepard still trying to Saad was able to keep his composure yeah. and balance wasn't he? That is terrible, he'll come from the ground, be assessed under the concussion rules. In the meantime, this impressive young man, De Koning, just puts it straight through the middle. That's how you do it, boys. Duffy just trying to take some pace out of the game. West Coast, as we said, are dominating inside forward 50s. So, so, Jimmy, just explain for those watching Sunday afternoon footy, you, you feel like momentum's all against you, so Carlton really, they just want to slow down for a moment, although you've got to release that handball. Come back to Jimmy in a moment when you get the gap through the centre field. Now the quick movement, Eddie Betts, centre field kick wasn't ideal. Doesn't matter, Eddie can do anything. De Koning's going to take the mark. So it was an unselfish centering kick, and De Koning has worked Nick Nat all the way to the goal square. As we just see De Koning knock this through. He couldn't miss from there. Yeah, and he puts it straight through a couple for that man, Tom De Koning. Just answering your question before, Das, it's mature play. It's called fast possession where you still want to take ground, but if there's a mark on, you, you take kick mark, unless there's an obvious overlap, but you're still trying to move the ball down the ground with some possession now. The one with Newman coming through the middle, you had to give that because it's actually a pretty safe ball movement. Now, you're probably trying to not kick long down to the contest. You just want to keep possession. Harry Edwards tried to take it through to the medical sub. Jermaine Jones has been picked up by Newman. And oh, he's... It's the kick that came unstuck. Young player, Harry Edwards, want to be certain through that part of the ground. And Matt Owies, who's started as a rookie, kicked multiple goals regularly this year and kicks an important one now for Carlton. Well, this is the modern game, and this is what's made Richmond the dominant side over the last four years. Forward half turnovers, then scoring off the back of them, because as the opposition takes the ball out, they're all off their direct opponent joining in attack. And if you can turn it over really high, you can find players inside forward 50. And Carlton have done really well this quarter. They've restricted West Coast kick mark game. They've only allowed them up on that one. He's been the go-to man. Coming off Dom Sheeter, career high 43 disposals last week versus Essendon. Now Mark Murphy. Wobbling floating kick. It's effective in the end of Paddy Cripps. Zach Fisher. Eddie Betts, you can see one on one now. He presents that and the kick was going in board. And oh, he's all the attention went to Eddie Betts and oh, he's popped up from nowhere as well. See a lot of attention drawn to Eddie Betts and you can understand why. And some man Matt Owies kicked the last goal of the game. Strikes it reasonably well and back to back goals from Matt Owies. 
only just made the distance. Big smile on his face. Gives Carlton the lead back. Kick three of the last four. The Blues here. Interesting on this OE set shot. What's the common rule for having a tall back on the line? Yeah, Jimmy. You normally get the Ruckman down there. Or at least a key defender to free up. You get a small defender to hold down the opposition's key forward. So the key defender can come jump and... Tries a miracle goal. Oh. Bailey Williams has kept it in. He might have preferred to get it out. If he had his time over again, Paddy Dow. Subani stayed down. He read it well. Nice sidestep. Got past Foley. Nunes. Subani's going to get it back. Slapped it on intelligently to Cripps. He's going to take on the Foley tackle. He just... Shows no regard for the tackler. Advantage is paid. The deep option was there to bet, but Owies has popped up again. And he can go back and kick his third goal unselfishly. Short to Mark Murphy. And he's going to go to Cottrell, so... Keep going, two more minutes. Supplemental pickup in 2019. He's... Got the four career goals in 14 games directly in front. Matt Cottrell has just stuck at home. The Blues avoids the man on the mark and in doing so put it off the outside of the beat. The Coning flew, couldn't hold it. Cripps got it. Bent through traffic goal. He's amazing, Eddie Betts. Have a look at this. His 341st game moves past Andrew McLeod and is now third on the all-time most Indigenous games played behind Burgoyne and Goods. Some spoil was effective from Edwards. Walsh never falls over. Open the pathway for Dow. Williams has a chance. Kick around the body. Good-looking kick as he got the journey. Williams has got it. Nice celebration from that band, Zach Williams. Well, great play from Sam Walsh. Kept his feet in the contest, but then obviously Paddy Dow shoveling out the handball to Zach Williams. And we've mentioned this a couple of times. We, we, you want to see your halfbacks and those attacking halfbacks getting really high up the ground, and especially Williams and Saad. They can be so dangerous. The more back with a flight to Coning. Eddie Betts says, Shepard for me. I'll do the rest. Almost ran out of space. Back to Silvani. Got through a tackle. Eddie! He just keeps himself alive in all contests. He keeps going back to the ball. He's out of bounds, keeps himself back in it, goes back and out numbers, and his two goals have just been out of nothing, like always with Eddie. But he just keeps himself active and live, and you guys caught it. He's the smallest bloke in the top 30 for leading goalkeepers of all time. He plays in a position which can be very barren, the small forward. And he's 